Rosetta 2. Something Apple have just released and most people don't even know what it is because they haven't made it very clear in their Apple events. Let's answer the first question about it. And that is, is it meant to be for the, M for the transition between Intel to M1 or is it meant to be for the transition from Catalina to Big Sur? Well, the answer is it's from Intel to M1. It took me a while to find this, but it is for the new Macs. And it kind of makes sense because new softwares, they haven't really been making apps so that they work in the newer softwares. That would be a nice thing, but for now, they're doing it for the Intel to M1 Max. These are only available on the M1 Max. That kind of makes sense, because if they were on the old one, then what's the point? Just to let you know, Apple have done this before, and it didn't go so great. It was uh, the original Rosetta, as this one's obviously called uh, Rosetta 2, and this was released when they were moving from PowerPC to the Intel Max. It didn't go super smooth, but obviously Apple's getting better and better, and let's just hope that this new one is a little bit better than the old one. So what does Rosetta actually do? Well, on the M1 chip, some apps that were originally supported on the Intel chips don't actually work on the M1 Max. So what they had to do is create this software which basically simulates the old software to work on the new one. So that way apps that aren't supported on M1 can now be used on M1 until they're supported and then you can just delete the app. So when will you be able to delete Rosetta 2? Well, developers are most likely working on their apps right now, this moment. That's because the new M1 chip, its capabilities are so high and every developer would want to get their hands on the capabilities of that chip. That way they can make their apps so much better. So they won't be long till we have to get rid of Rosetta 2. If that video was found helpful, make sure you leave a like and subscribe because next week I'll be releasing a video on Big Sur and how amazing it is. So make sure you subscribe with the notifications on so you don't miss that video. Thanks for watching.